just effort I got to hide too. So. Speaking of effort. All right, surfing plane. Go ahead. All right. Is this going up a waterfall? No. Oh. Okay. You've been talking to Clayton. Stop talking no. to him. No. I just. No. This is uh, the one seventy second trumpeter on top, uh, uh, going up a wave. A wave. You're familiar with. Uh, the old TV series from the late 70s, early 80s, UFO, where they had the uh, submarine that would launch a jet fighter off the nose of it. No, I missed that. No. I remember that show. I remember yeah. that show. Yeah. I, remember I guess we didn't get that in the backwoods of Kentucky. Yeah. No, you probably... You're too busy yeah, like with your cousin. He's too busy with his cousin. That's, this is what I modeled it. You guessed it. Okay. Okay. But um, this was originally uh, going to... Uh, a Grumman uh, float plane, um, but the Grumman took too many falls. As this did one too, it it didn't want to be completed because it the this fell, I, I think two or three times. Yeah, and I, I just couldn't. Uh, keep no kibitzing from the peanut that's gallery why back you, there. That's why you don't bring your wife. No, no, no. She she had to, you know, sit there and go. Is it all broken? Again, so. <laughs> again. <laughs> but it was. Uh, were you laughing when you were telling him that? <laughs> no, but it was a. Uh, it was the. It was a. It was still a fun build. I. It was my first uh, float plane. Um, the wave part of it was um, just I, I got, had this idea of of uh, this plane coming out of the the water. Um, it, it, I guess it kind of would look like a waterfall, but a waterfall at an angle? I, no, I can't agree with you on that. Paper mache. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, you'd have a hell of a bigger engine to climb out at that angle off the water. Right, but, Plus, you know, you got to use your imagination. Well, Danny, if you take it and you lay it this way, it looks like there's a wave pushing it behind it. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. Okay? <laughs> it's my model. <laughs> my, 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 your, your yeah, interpretation. My that's right. Well, yeah, you were, you, 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 you were right. inside my brain. <laughs> yeah, Take okay. it to Comic Con. You'll start a new comic book series. That's right. <laughs> Guaranteed. Yeah, but uh, um, it was. A, I, I still got some pain to do to um, the paper mache. This is a pretty uh, nice kit. You said it was a trumpeter, trumpeter. kit. Trumpeter. Yeah. Yeah. So someone asked earlier, and I think it got missed, is that the propeller that came with the kit? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Wow, that's small. They, they had four blade props. It looks yeah. really, really small, small diameter for, that, for, for, that, for that, yeah. that size of fuselage. That yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, I wonder how accurate would, that is. And it stayed together. together. It's yeah. a trumpeter yeah. kit. They're reasonably yeah. accurate. Well, yeah. Like they make a beautiful yeah, see, that looks, yeah. Yeah, that looks a lot bigger. bigger. The paddles look bigger. They yeah. do. Trumpeter makes a beautiful sea fury kit, but the prop blade looks really anemic. Yeah, probably close. Because really mm -hmm. the prop, the blades on that, uh, if they were going up and down, look like they would be within about a foot of the floor. Now, there's no way mm -hmm. that's close. Yeah. Well, you that's know. That's interesting. It's. I threw it together. It stayed on. Not I your didn't fault. Break. You no, not your fault. Yeah. 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 Usually, I break the propeller. There's a real one, folks. <laughs> There's a real one. There you go. High five. You didn't yes, break that's it. Right. <laughs> There's a real one of those Every... at Boeing Field, where they have the new uh, aviation. Is that the picture you got? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. They got one. He's got Yeah. He's got the pictures. So it was on wheels, not floating. Yeah. Don't even try. Just show it to. It's all green. You know. And the inner, the has got a picture. Oh, oh yeah. that's what he was showing us. That's why we were looking yeah. at the propeller. Yeah. yeah. I, my no purpose is not to add anything outside of the box. I mean, you got to be like I Ralph, you know? It takes four it's kids to put one line. plane together. Yeah. I'm amazed at Ralph, man. He, he must have boxes of parts. Yeah. Well, I got yeah. the cowling from this kit, and then I got the canopy from that kit, and then I got the, then I got the, <laughs> the wheels from that kit, and then I put this. Man. I think he's robbing Jim's stash. Is that what this, is, uh, this is my M10 uh, Tamiya uh, 148. Oh, yeah, you brought that last time. This, yeah. yeah, but you didn't have it on the base. The base, last time, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't have the, the bags on it. Yeah, and the, the, the fuel drums you didn't have on either, no. I don't think. Yeah. Um, this was uh, actually 
uh, a Christmas exchange uh, gift that we did on one of the Facebook clubs. And uh, so uh, I did the, the bags out of uh, uh, meal putt and the cans. They, they weren't supposed to go on like that, but I thought it would look pretty cool if I'd put them on the rear end. Um, I, I do a lot of my work just out of my imagination. It's, um, I'll look at a book and go, oh, okay, I'll do it that way and then do something else. What do you want for that? Um, what do you want for that? But your, your hobby. Are you yeah. And, uh, no, you, I had an interior. Oh, you just bought yeah. it for the Um, yeah. I just did a little bit on it. Because there's a, uh, um, there wasn't much to it to begin yeah. with, but I forget what I did what I could. Uh, issue it is. Uh, maybe Google this. And then this is my uh, mobile logger. It's as a, I keep forgetting the name of it, but I brought this one um, once. But I, yeah, but you didn't have the base on the, the base. Figure, yeah. I didn't throw the figures on there. Yeah. So it's just about ninety nine percent done. I have a couple more. Uh, I got some guns I still got to put on there, but um, but it's pretty much done. I have to clean up the base on it. I put masking tape over this and. I took it off and it just kept peeled completely. everything. Yeah, so masking tape, not good to put on frames. <laughs> and it took all the gold. This was, had all gold um, lining on it. It took it right off. Is it the weather, bud? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I was pretty happy with this too. Um, it's. Uh, I, I, lo I love the color of it. Um, and the figures I just got done. Um, but overall, the, the two tanks, I you got a couple more at home I'm almost uh, completed with. So. That's a flag tank? I, it's a uh, mobile wagon. Yeah, something. It looks, yeah. Like, it looks like a flag tank. When, when the last time yeah. you brought it, Will said what the name was, remember? And I, I can't remember for the life of me what he said it was. Mobile wagon. Yeah, mobile wagon, but SDKF. Yeah, yeah some, some SDKF, weird name. Yeah. Stoop yeah. flutes, yeah. Stoop flutes yeah. or something, you know. Yeah. <laughs> now on your on your sand bags and stuff like that. There's a guy on YouTube, um, Andy's Model Headquarters, oh, and yeah. and he makes he shows you how to make sandbags and stowage out of a two part resin, like so it's like a putty, like no melon putt. And he shows you how to do it with a toothpick and everything. And wow, it's amazing. It looks like sandbags. Yeah. Yeah, so he's showing how he put some on a, like Sherman, the front of a Sherman, stuff like that. So you might be interested in looking at yeah. it and seeing how that guy does it. Yeah, I was I was trying to grab And then part of it is just how it goes on and you just uh, you go with it from there. Yeah. No it's uh, I like that because you could play with it for right. a while. Right. And um, yeah, you, know, you each each time you do a little bit different, and uh, it gets either better or um, you, it, it just gets better. <laughs> or worse. You know about the chicklets bit? The chicklets? Chicklets. Yeah, you told us that. Chicklets. You told us that a couple meetings ago about using how you use chicklets yeah. in the old chicklets days. On yeah. are just the right size for a sandbag in 35th. You get the little mini ones; they're just the right size for a sandbag in 72nd scale. You just soak them in water to get all the sugar on. Screw up. You just eat. And then you just yeah. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. The red really does taste like cherry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's blood. Damn knife got too close to something. Thank <laughs> you.